I welcome you all in our channel Edu Ethics. So today we are starting the question and answers of our chapter Even that now. is so today we are starting with our chapters question and answers of civics and the name of the chapter is diversity and discrimination this is the chapter of class 6 civics right so today we are starting the question and answers so i think that uh, you want uh, I think that uh, you have seen the uh, you, you have seen my previous video in which I have told the full uh, chapter explanation you have seen that video I hope so so uh, I think that uh, I have to just do some recap uh, recap recap for you let's do some recap of this chapter so here I'm, I'm just telling you about the discrimination, about the prejudice and about the stereotype in short, right? So these three I'm these three things I'm telling you. So what do you mean by prejudice? So to see someone inferiorly, to see someone badly or to judge them negatively. So that is a prejudice. And what about the stereotype? Stereotype means to fix a image, to fix an image. For a particular person, right? To fix an image. Like, <laughs> our society is very orthodox <laughs> and very stereotype, right? So, they have fixed the image in their mind. They have fixed the image in their mind that these can't do anything, they can't do anything. So, that is the stereotype image that they have fixed in their mind, right? And what is discrimination? Discrimination means to compare anyone, right? To compare anyone and use to out them from their group, from their society. So that is a discrimination. So I'm just telling you these, this thing only. Okay, so this is all a recapping that we have done. So this is a recap for this chapter. Now can we start with our questions and answers? Okay, first question is define the term prejudice with an example. So you have to give an example from prejudice and you also have to tell the definition of prejudice. So answer is Prejudice means to judge other people negatively or see them inferior. For example, if we think that Hindi is the best language and other languages are not important, we are judging. So, for example, if we think that Hindi is the best language and other languages are not important, we are judging these other languages negatively. So this is an example of prejudice. Or you can also take the example. You can also take the example of other. You can also take other examples for prejudice that you can take a example of someone who is disabled, who is disabled. So let me take an example. Let me take an example. If we say that Dalit, if we compare Dalits and uh, if we compare Dalits and uh, Brahmins, so we compare those, uh, if we compare Brahmins and Dalits, we, or we are saying that Brahmins are more respective community than Dalit. So they are so we are prejudice prejudicing. We are judging the community of Dalit. So this is also an example of prejudice. Or you can take some more examples, some more good examples of prejudice on your own. Right? You can think on your own. Now next question is what is a secular country? What does this mean? So, this means that people of different religions and faiths have the freedom to practice and follow 
their religion without any fear or discrimination now what is just you know what is now what is a stereotype so it is a fixed idea or image that many people have of a particular thing now what is a stereotype it is a fixed idea or image that many people have a particular thing a person of certain social group it usually based on assumption assumption now what is the demerit of stereotype view stereotype is a negative negative quality quality it does not allow us to think or view of a person as a unique individual we don't think beyond the set image now what is discrimination so here discrimination is the practice of treating someone less fairly that others on the basis of their caste of their color religion etc for example dalits are discriminated against other on the basis of their social social status which is not justified what is inequality lack of resources and opportunities create inequality what are the constitutional provinces for establishing establishing equality in indian society do you think this these are enough so this are four marks question answer constitutional provinces for establishing equality indian constitution indian constitution grants equal equality equal rights see here equal rights and opportunities to sit, to citizens it holds all citizens equal before the law it prohibits the practice of untouchability in all aspects other country is secular which means that discrimination cannot take place on the on the basis of religion this in spite of a written constitution inequality consider countries to exist exist in our country in some form the for in some form or the other for ex, and for other for example there is no equal distribution of resources write a note on bhimrao ambedkar dr bhimrao ambedkar is considered the father of the indian constitution and is also the best known leader of the dalits he was born into the mahar caste which was considered untouchable he was first person from his caste who completed his college education and went to england to become a lawyer he led many efforts of dalits to gain entry into temples later in life he converted to buddhist so this is all for today so we have completed with the question answers also with this of this chapter so actually we have completed this chapter thank you so much to seeing this video and please practice this chapter and read it five times thank